Hello, let's begin our step-by-step -step tutorial for our Originals Admin Portal site, URSA. First navigate to our website at original.com and select the login link. Once you have selected the login link, you will be brought to our page where we have the web inbox, but today we're talking about our admin panel. We have one for the US and we have one that is global. Today we will review the global admin panel. Select the global login admin panel and type in the username and password given to you by our original support and select log in. Now you'll be brought to our admin portal. You can see here the unit that you will have access to along with the name. You can select to enter into the unit information here through this orange hyperlink or you can select the menu drop down box and go directly to receivers. And here you will see a list of all of the receivers that are registered with this unit. The R and the number is the receiver account ID given to each instructor. And if we select this hyperlink, we will go directly to the receiver or instructors page. Here you will also see information of any documents that have been submitted to this specific receiver. The documents are given an ID number plus the capital letter D in front. If we select the letter D and the ID hyperlink, you will be taken to the page for this document and its analysis. Again, you can see the document ID number and the file name. You have here the option to download the document that was submitted for analysis. You also have the option to delete the document data permanently. This is an irretrievable function. So once this has been chosen, it will appear here under data deleted. This checkbox will be uh, highlighted and we will not be able to retrieve that data. However, we also have a delete from index option here and you can choose to select that here or deselect it because it is a soft delete and is recoverable. On this page, you can also see any errors associated with the submission. In this specific example, we have no errors, but if there were an error three to be displayed here, that would in imply that there were too few characters or words for analysis. And you could also see that here by the number of characters and number of words. Remember that our minimum requirement for characters is 430 and 20 words. Here is the analysis information, including the significance or similarity score. You also have access to the report with this icon and the report will appear in a new window when you select it. Here in the event log is important information about when the document received its analysis and who the user was. So it's important when you are using the URSA account to have a specific user in mind so that you can verify uh, any particular users in your system. If we now return to original and select the unit itself, you will see your unit number and the name of your university, and then you will also see some different information here. So under the change function, when you select that, you can make changes to the email account and contact person and contact phone number and language for your unit. We can also make organizational levels which is basically tied to the hierarchy and statistical usage of your receivers. So for example, organizational one could be the College of Business and organizational two could be the Department of Marketing.
We also have invite to create user accounts, which is something that is very specific to our web inbox and really very specific actions. So we don't recommend that our URSA admins uh, use this unless you really know what you plan to do with this. Otherwise, you might want to contact support at original.com. However, if you want to add receivers to your account, you can create an analysis address and send invite to web inbox. When you select this option, you'll be brought to a screen where you can either add just the email address for the person or you can add the email address a space and then the person's name. There are no, necess uh, no titles are necessary for this. Once you have entered in your email addresses, making sure that there are no spaces after each one or in between, you could select next. And these will then be added to your user account, your unit account rather. Once you've selected save, those individuals will receive an email with more information on how to complete their receiver and analysis address account. Whitelisting is our beta feature right now, um, so I will not go over that in this video. I will tell you that we have four different options for statistics. Rather, one of them is exporting just the receivers, but we have statistics for receivers by month. So you will see the year, the month, and the number of documents received for the whole institution by month. Here you can also select export to CSV and it will be downloaded and uh, available to open in Excel. We have statistics, receiver statistics by organizational level. We have statistics for each receiver per year. So you can see the name of the receiver, their analysis address within our system, their personal or institutional email address, and the year and the number of documents received for them in that year. Again, this is available to export where you can then in Excel make any more additional filters necessary. And when you select the export receivers, this will generate a CSV of all the receivers in your organization. You can also search for receivers if you know their receiver number. You can type that in in this upper search box just by using the letter R and then the number in which we want to search for and selecting enter. As you can see here, we go directly to the receivers page in their documents. You can also do the same by using the document ID and searching for it in the search box. You can also go to your report and find the submission ID. This is the same as our document ID and the URSA admin portal. So if you use this submission ID, copy it, and go back to your portal, add the letter D, and then paste in the number and hit enter, you'll be sent to this specific page. So this is quite handy when you are doing any type of research via your report. You can also do this when you're using your sources. This is the document ID here. If you want the information where it was matched to, you can copy that and enter it here in the search box and be taken directly to that page. You can also find the document ID for which your student submission has been matched against under the sources. If that document is available within your institution, you are able to search using this document ID as well. When you return to your list of receivers, you can also choose to delete receivers. As you can see, this particular uh, receiver was deleted and that was made possible by going to the receiver ID number 
and selecting this box it can also be undone and redone but this is pretty helpful in case there are receivers that are no longer instructors no longer with your institution so that is it you can use your ursa admin portal guide that is also available on our guides and tutorials webpage for more detailed information. I hope this was helpful and look forward to working with you soon. If you have any other questions, please reach out to support at ouroriginal.com. Thank you.